Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP Estate Team and today we continue our video how to build your real estate website by going over all the settings related to properties search in VP Residence. VP Residence search settings are very flexible and I will show you how I design my search for my real estate website by guiding you through all the possible options available. VP Residence has a special section for search in team options. You can choose how the search displays. This is the first section and handles the position of the search in hero header. You can then design the search form and here you choose which fields you wish to show in the search. You can enable radius or geolocation search and you can change the search colors. What I want to do next is to change my search form and I will quickly show you how I do that. So first I go to advanced search form. As you can see, the demo comes by default with search type 6. This one includes tabs style like categories and I want to keep this in my site, but you have other options in the team and each type has a different design. Next, I want to select more features and amenities in my search and I select them from here. I move down to the tabs like categories. You can actually choose between categories, cities, areas, states. So you can have whatever categories you wish. The next section is the price. I want to use price slider in my search and here you set the minimum and the maximum values for each category. And next you actually set the search form fields. Uh, here you can add more fields and choose a different design for how many fields per row. By default, the demo comes with six fields and I actually want to keep the same number, but I just want to change the cities and areas a little bit. So I will quickly show you how I do that. Instead of the cities categories, I will change to location field. And because the location field is wider, I will actually make the areas field that comes from the demo disappear. And for that, I simply choose none instead of areas. And I save my settings. VP Residence is actually extremely flexible. For search, you can choose any of these fields. And some of these fields come by default with the team. But you also have the chance to add your custom fields. And these property custom fields are actually added by yourself in team options right here. And after you add them here, you can actually use them in your search form too. And you can also change the text label as it will display on the front end and you can put whatever label you wish here. Now, moving forward, we will save the changes and I will show you how my search looks. So you can see here that instead of cities and areas, I actually have the location field. And this one does an autocomplete search. You type a value and if there are properties from a specific city, area or state, it will show in the list. And the price I change, you can see it here as well. The minimum price value changed. What is even better is that once you click search and you arrive on the search results page, these fields, as you said, them in team options will apply here as well. And what I actually do here is an instant search. I simply use different values for my fields and I can get different results instantly without having to click the search button. As you design a page in Elementor, you can add the search to your page also with the VPresident search form builder. And this form builder gives you many design possibilities. VPresidence has several demos with this option that you can import and edit easily. And now I will show you how I will recreate the main demo search in this page. If I edit the page with Elementor, you can see that the hero header media from the team options is here. So first I want to hide this. To do this, I will go to Elementor settings and I will choose exit to the VP admin dashboard. From the editor, I will disable the transparent header for now because it will be easier to add a new row and show you how to do that. I will also remove the advanced search from hero header media and I will disable the hero header media. 
I update my settings and then I will edit again with Elementor. So first we will make a room for a new section and to make it more visible I will add the margin here. We add a new section, we add it in full and then I will add a background image to look nicely. I will select an image from media. To make this look better I will have to stretch the row and make it full width and then in order for you to see it better as you build the section I recommend to add a minimum height. Elementor is actually really flexible and has even more options for background image. You can set it as fixed and you will actually have this effect as you scroll down. You can also change the image position and set it to no repeat. And to be able to add some text I will need to add an overlay color which you can choose to what color you wish and you can also change the opacity. I will first add an inner section to my section because I want to add another one later on and then I will find the search form builder and drag and drop it to this section. The first thing I want to do is to enable tabs because I want to continue using two different categories and in this case I will still choose rentals and venta as my options. I save and then I have to refresh the page so I can start building the form with tabs. And next I can start adding my fields to each category. By default there are two fields added and you can select to which tab after you refresh the page. I actually want to keep the category field and I will make it 20% in this case so I can add more fields. The next field I want to add is the property location and for this one I will choose a larger width. I will continue and I will add a new field. I want to add the property bedrooms here and I choose bedrooms from the drop down and because it is a number I have to choose a number compare system. In this case it will be bedrooms greater than the value selected. I will make it 20% and I will choose the category. Now we have to make the search button fit as well and I will edit it to be 20% and now you can see all my fields in one row and I will add an icon to so the search button looks nicer. I will just quickly go now in styling to make the icon a little more visible so you can see it as I edit it and I will just change here the font size of the icon and then I will add a little space between the icon and the text. Next we will continue to add field to the second category and in my case I want to add also categories. I will change the label here and then I will add also a different placeholder text and I will choose the different category tab. I want to continue here and add also the city field. I will uh, use city for the second category and in this case I will add my field label and my placeholder, the width and the top. And next I want to add the price to the second category and in this case I choose price as field. I add equal, it has to be a number compatible compare system and I add the minimum and maximum price. The search fields are configured so we are now ready to move and style the form. I will hide the features and amenity section and the section title and then we can move on to styling the form. Uh, the first thing on this list is the property category field name. I want to make it a little bit darker so you can uh, see the difference and then I will change the font as well. I will make it a little bolder. I want to make the background transparent because I will actually use the tabs outside the form and I want to make sure there is no padding left from the form so I will add zero here. Move to designing the tabs section. So the first item I want to do is to put the categories in center and then I want to change the colors as well. I already have the main color I want to add to the second category and the active tab I want to make it simple white and font color a little bit darker. 
you can also change the font here as well and lastly i want to change the position in this case i want to add the margin i will add a little bit of space between the categories and then below i will add a negative margin so it sticks to the search form next we just need to change the border radius a little bit and add only top right and top left so it fits nicely and lastly we will add some padding so there is more room between the fields and voila and next i just want to change the color of the search button as well to match my design in this case i will go to the button section and here i have the button background color setting which i can change easily and for hover i can change also the colors and the icon color as well we have to change a little bit the position so it looks nice in the header so first i will add a new section for a title before the search form i will next add a heading widget and drag and drop it to this section and then i will add some text here that i will style with a larger font and a different color change the font color to white and then i will change the font size a little bit to be larger you can make further edits if you wish i will show you how we can finish the position of the search form builder first we will remove the margin we set at the beginning and now from advanced search positioning we can place the search form builder to show in a different position i want to make my header now a little bit smaller so i change the maximum height from here and then we can continue from positioning settings to set the search form to show a little bit over the image it gives it a very nice effect like this the last thing i want to do is to enable back the transparent header option because that will make the header look nicer and for that i go to edit page and i select yes from here and now we have the home page with transparent header and created with elementor and the search form builder if you'll use the search, you will be retracted to the same search results page as we did before. This wraps our video about how to manage advanced search options in Vpress Dance. I will add in the video description other video links related to search that you will find useful. And remember to subscribe to Vpress Dance YouTube channel to get informed when we publish new videos. Thank you for watching.